What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy Shaw vs. Everybody Podcast, episode 87. Man, we got a special guest in the building, dog. What's up? Motherfucking Brandon Kearney, man. Yeah, boy, motherfucking you know, uh, man. A, a bucket getter. Motherfucking Southeastern legend, this motherfucker, dog. They made plenty stops in the hoop uh, circuit, man. What's good with you, bro? Not much, man. Man, I appreciate you coming, dog. I ain't gonna lie. When I first hit you, I thought you was gonna you know, turn nigga down, man. Nah, man. <laughs> Nah, not at all. You know, I said like I don't, I don't forget no faces, man. Yeah, for sure, for sure, man. Everything yeah. been smooth though. Everything been smooth, man. Just trying to, like I said, stay positive. And, yeah, got to. You know, stay moving the culture for you know whether it's basketball, you know, music, entertainment. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. But shit, man. Before we get into all that, dog, we always start with a salute me while I'm here. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm saying a lot of times you wait for motherfuckers to pass away to be able to tell somebody how dope they is, or whatever. But it can't be nobody in your immediate family, like brother, sister, mom, pops, your kids. It gotta be somebody mm. outside of that. That's pretty dope. Let yeah, man, because you know, because that's the go-to always gonna be mom and dad. You know what I'm saying? Or your kids. So it gotta be somebody outside that box. Mmm. Like it can't be family member at all either. Cousins or something like that, but like no brothers or sisters, nothing, dog. No brothers or sisters. <laughs> I'm gonna just shout out all my cousins, man, because yeah. I, you know, I've been, I've been, you know, I've been moving around since I was your youngin. For sure. You know, playing basketball. Yeah. And I, I, I've came back home and I've been, you know, able to reconnect, you know, with a lot of my cousins, so. For sure, for sure. You know, I'm yeah. gonna get them, get them, give them they flowers while they're here, man. All right, that's what's up, that's yeah. what's up. Yeah, that's always a hard question because niggas be going right to mom, like, let me shout moms out, duh. But when you gotta take that junk out, you gotta really think about that yeah, shit, Yeah, it does, dog. it does. Because I hate that junk when I be seeing people who pass away and then niggas wanna be like, dog, you know, I love this person and Facts. stuff. Because dudes be too afraid to say I love you to another dude thinking that it, that turned them to Facts. be soft and junk. No, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, that's just that's just because we want to talk the right way growing up. No, for sure. Because I, I ain't gonna lie. My brother, dog, <laughs> whenever I say I love that nigga, I always gotta include a nigga or something. Yeah. You gotta make it sound tough, like, yeah, I love you too, nigga. <laughs> no, I feel you. Oh, ain't good, job, dog. I feel you. No, I do make you feel kind of easy once, <laughs> you know, growing up when somebody tell you, you know, they love you, you know, at the end of, you know, the conversation. Yeah, if it ain't no chick or your mom or yeah. somebody like that, you be like, huh? Uh. Yeah, but now that I got older, man, you know, I tell, I, you know, I tell identity to everybody. I told a, a group of strangers the other day I was in a house with my cousins. <laughs> yeah. Like, I know y'all, you know, y'all extended, but, you know, I love all y'all, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Ain't nothing wrong yeah. with that, dog. No, I just, that's how I used to know my brother was drinking or somewhere. He was a little buzz or something. Yeah. When he said that junk, I was like, oh, this nigga must be, must be, <laughs> must be high or something, dog. <laughs> now, dog, but, uh, before we get to everything, bro, I, was, I always want to ask a question before I get into your life, dog. Mm -hmm. I be, you been peeping the uh, Ben Simmons shit, dog? Yeah, I have. You see them, them niggas are talking about, like, the team is going to fly to him. And try to talk him into coming back on the team, and he was like, "Dog, don't even waste y'all time." Yeah. Like, how you feel about that, dog? That somebody had sacrificed their salary and all that junk. Do you think like Doc Rivers messed that junk up by saying like basically him and Joel Embiid right after they lost that playoff game, they kind of like killed him a little bit? Yeah, I mean, being I feel like Ben Simmons just want to be happy. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure, he just, sure. at, at, at this point, he just want to be happy, and yeah. obviously he wasn't happy there. And he needed to develop on some stuff. Oh, for sure, hell yeah. So it's like you know they didn't scrutinize him, you know, you know around around Philly, which is a tough a tough market yeah, to play yeah, in. Yeah, they blew everybody. They blew everybody. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So I, I ultimately I think he just want a fresh start. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere you know, he can go here. Yeah, come on, man. Even when you look at him when he was with LSU, but I don't know about high school, but his jumper was always questionable. Yeah. And like when he got to the league, that's something I think that. Shoot, they, they organization should have been attacking. Like, all right, mm -hmm. we going to get you in the gym, and we just ain't got to be no three-point shot. It'd be right. a little mid-range or whatever, right. you know what I'm saying? I forgot who said it. It might have been Gilbert Arenas or one of them said it. Like, he should just take a page out of, like, Rondo book, like, Oh yeah, yeah. And just start shooting them. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Cause Rondo didn't have the best jumper, but dog, if he open, he gonna shoot. And then like in the NBA now, like if he take ten of them a game, yeah, Ben, you can't hit three. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like just start taking. Even them. like with Giannis, he gonna shoot. Shoot him. And he, he leave him up for a three point. He gonna pull it. He he gonna make it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But you can't be afraid. Cause once you afraid, it's gonna mess with your psyche. Yeah, for sure. And you see that one play against Atlanta when he just passed up on that layup because yeah. he didn't want to get fouled and go to the free throw line. Exactly. And like, bro, if you can't. And that's one thing. If you can't knock a free throw down, like. LeBron ain't the best, but mm -hmm. nigga, he gonna attack though. You know and, what I'm saying? And he's still young too, like. Yeah, cause he's only like what, 25? If 20, that. Yeah, 24, 25. Like he got, you know, some time. Like that's why I said take a page out of the older guys' book. Like mm -hmm. they, they, you know what I'm saying? They don't really be caring about sure. nothing. Like, yeah, yeah. Like Rondo gonna shoot that gonna thing. Shoot like, nigga, I'll yeah. it. Oh, y'all leave me open? Fuck it. I'm shooting. Yeah. Make a miss, he gonna make that jump. No, that's right. So, man, talk about you, bro. Like growing up, man, where you from the east or the west? Who was in the household, dog? Uh, things like that. Um, I actually went from. <laughs> from east to west. Okay, okay. So um, I went. I grew up on Eight Mile and Gratiot. All right. Kind of like the red zone area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
And then I grew up on like Eight Mile in Wyoming because I went to um, Ferndale Public Schools. Okay, okay. So sure. I was part of the, you know, the Royal Oak Township community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly where it's at. Yeah, so. Yeah. Um, Who's in the crib, man? Mom and dad both Mom together? Mom and dad was together. Yeah, that's what's up. Mom and dad was together. So that's that's definitely a blessing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You got yeah. brothers and sisters, dog? I got um, um, a younger brother and older sister. Okay, okay. Now, I know your pops went to Louisiana Tech, bro. Yeah. Like, was that pressure for you, like, coming up hooping, dog? And you like, damn, like... My dad already probably the man and jump, you know what I'm saying? I gotta live up to this, this last this last name. No, nah, not really, man. It just came natural, really. Yeah. Was he well, he wasn't the type of dad like force you to hoop? Like, dog, you gotta do this or like you should do this. <laughs> yes and no. Yeah. It would be times I you know, I possibly burnt out, but he know about, you know, pushing, you know, pushing pushing through that. For sure, for so sure. So it'd be times I might have not, you know what I'm saying, might have not wanted to go because I'm just, you know, I just wanted to be yeah. You know, regular kid at that time. Hell yeah, just go ahead, you know what I'm saying, hanging yeah. out with John. Yeah. Now, dog, you showed me the first time you played against Mount, dog, but the first time I saw you hoop, bro, I knew it. I'm like, this little nigga can hoop, dog. Like, it was three on three hooping up, dog. Yeah. I don't know if you remember that, John. I remember that. It was you, Rick, Mount, and uh, Tommy. Yeah. Yeah, y'all, that was like, dog, damn, it got uh, hooping up no more. No, they don't. Damn, we should bring that back. <laughs> and I remember, I'm like, dog, who is, who is young boy right there, dog? Like, because I knew Mount could hoop, I knew Ricky and Tommy, but then. This dude was like a little young dog and jumped down in the post because he was the tallest person. Yeah. And, and that's when that's my first time seeing you hoop and jump. I'm like, oh yeah, this little nigga gonna be a problem, dog. Yeah. <laughs> that's one of the first time I had to like adjust because I want the I want the, the guard like that, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, man, I gotta get down here, to get dirty at a young <laughs> age, man, with playing with Tommy and um Rick. Man, that was a fun time. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah Speaking of this right here, dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, but yeah, dog. So, yeah, seeing you hoop at them, at them early days and just, dog, against bro and junk, because he was with the RG All-Stars all his life and junk, dog. Hell yeah. And then, because you played for, uh, you said you played for, um, what what that squad you say you play for? Shockers, shockers, and then you went to the family. Yeah. Yeah, 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 dog. So, you know, what? a funny thing about that was during that time, I remember Shaq had came out. And I was just a big basketball fan. So Shaq came out and he talking about some um, Paul Pierce was his favorite player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I first ran into Malcolm. Yeah. And I'm just thinking like that's the NBA for me at that point. Like yeah. I'm eight, nine years old. I'm like, yeah. shit, that's the league. Yeah, like I'm looking sure. at different teams. But I'm like, shit, Mark, my favorite player in that league. <laughs> at an early age. Like yeah. I remember that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I never forgot, you know, I never forgot the faces just from yeah. just from that. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Cause uh Mel, and niggas should be that's when I knew my hoop days was over, dog. When this nigga started posting me up and started killing me, dog. Like I felt like you know uh how uh Denzel was getting killed by Ray and he got game. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, dog, it was all like that, like, nigga, <laughs> nigga whooping my ass, yeah. dog. He got strong, nigga, with the Kings, he got strong, dog. He went from, like, a chubby, little, uh, clear, ally mean type nigga, and then just got muscles. Like, dog, this nigga beat my ass, dog. Mm -hmm. And then niggas used to be like, dog, your little brother better than you. I'm like, nigga, shit, he should be. Right. <laughs> nigga, I'm in the crib just trying to hang out, got a kid. Like, I don't hoop no more, dog. No, but you was always there supporting, bro, dog. I dog, remember you all nigga, the time. All the teachers knew me, dog. I'll be yelling at this nigga, like, no, yeah. what the hell you doing, dog? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you doing? Cause we but, went through some battles with RNG. Yeah, hell yeah. We went through some battles with RNG. But the family always had like the cheat code, dog. Like they always got niggas. <laughs> I actually, yeah, we used to battle them, but I, I used to battle with them a lot when I went to the fire. Okay, all right, yeah. Like seventh, eighth grade. Yeah. Cause I think y'all beat us. And we playing basketball warehouse then. Oh, you basketball warehouse. I didn't play that warehouse. I play at warehouse. I played at um, when my covenant on the west side. I think y'all beat us in the uh, the seventh grade year. Yeah. When y'all had um. That's when Malik was over there, though, wasn't he? No, was I Brent... think about keep them out. Uh, Kim and was over there. Yeah, Kim. Was... Kim and was on the older team, though. Yeah. yeah. I was. Remember, y'all was on the younger team. Y'all had um Brendel. I remember we Brendel. It was that company, the league, I'm with Stacy and uh. Singing hot man. Yeah, <laughs> <don't know>. <laughs> 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 hey, man. That's the Van Dyke. No, no it's on the west side. No, that, that's what you talking about when you, before you got here. That's yeah, when y'all played that, that yeah. young, young league. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's, that's on the east side, the one I'm talking yeah. about. Van Dyke. That's yeah. when we was young. Yeah. That's I'm trying to think, was you, you had to be on that squad. Yeah, because he said he played, he played for, with Quick the whole time. This was seventh grade, though. Yeah. And the league was Stacy. Remember Stacy and the, the, uh, the DPD officer? They used to run the league. They had a little short, light skinned son. I don't remember the <laughs> <Duh. game. laughs> That's what I said I don't forget I don't be forgetting nothing Yeah, dog. yeah he remember all that junk, dog. yeah Now dog Hooping I always be mad It's always funny dog Cause 
I had said something on the last episode. I was of hoping what was something else that you might have wanted to do but never tapped in. Like me, I said I wanted to tap dance, though. Tap dance? <laughs> but, yeah. And play a piano. Those two things that I never told nobody I wanted to do but never did. I was actually last night dancing with a girl last night. She thought I couldn't dance, but I used to always go to parties and I used to be like, you know, I wish I could dance. Like, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Different yeah, dances real. and shit. Yeah. So something like that possibly, like, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. So, see, I could dance for shit, so I don't know why I wanted to tap dance. Tap like, dance. That's some shit that, though, that shit was dope, No, bro. that's dope. <laughs> That's some shit you do in the kitchen though, like. Yep, yep. yep get your little church shoes get on. Get your little dog, church shoes on tap, yeah. Mm -hmm. When they could have taken them lessons though, I don't know. <laughs> now, dog, <laughs> I'll be because most of the time, dog, you the third person I had as far as basketball man. I had Coach Brooks. I had uh, you know Chuck Bailey. Yeah, Chuck Bailey. Yeah, I had Chuck Bailey. So you the third person. That's crazy. I had eighty-seven episodes, bro. But I usually ask people who was they liking music wise according to their parents, but who would you like in hooping wise? According to your dad, like you were just liking it, the Hoopers he was liking because you was too young to really, you know what I'm saying, have your own favorite players. Uh, yes and no. Yeah. Me and my pop's kind of different. Yeah, 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 for sure. So, like, you said name a specific player? Yeah, just a player you was liking just based off your dad because I'm oh, a Lakers fan. Of yeah, I'm a Laker fan right now just because my dad was like outside of the Pistons. He loved Lakers. So, I've been liking Lakers since I was like, nigga, 19 years old. Uh -huh. We was heavy on the Pistons then, yeah. Because yeah. the Pistons was, you know, they was Back they was hot, you know, during that time. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I would have to say the Pistons. We was, you know, we was big on Rip. Yeah, for and sure. And then we got a chance, you know, to meet Rip and be around Rip. You yeah. know, playing with the family. He was connected. Oh yeah, connected yeah, yeah. yeah. Rip, Rip, dog, people be sleeping on Rip, bro. Yeah. Rip was cold, dog, and he was somebody like Reggie who had to like chase all the time. Yeah. So like, if you, you know, what I'm saying you got to worry about him on. I'm playing defense, so once you get back on offense, you tired from chasing him, bro. No, that's true. Yeah, dog. That's true. What about when you got older, dog? Who were some, some people you was liking in the gym, dog, growing up middle school, high school days? Uh, you maybe try to influence your game. Because to me, I always say you had like a T Mac type game. Yeah, that's my. I watch, <laughs> I watch T Mac still to this day. Like, I was watching some shit, the, you know, the other night on T Mac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, T Mac, Kobe, uh, for sure, Chauncey, like, you know, because he was here too. For sure, yeah. Chauncey yeah. Rip. Yeah. Uh, I used to watch all of them, man. I just was different. Like, I had to watch Tayshaun to the defense. Like, yeah, for sure. And I just, you know, giving, yeah. you know what I'm saying, talking about the Pistons. But, like, Kobe. Yeah, of course, Kobe, Gilbert. Yeah. People, dog, Gilbert was a beast, dog. <laughs> he was a bucket, like, dog. He would shoot that boy as soon as he crossed half. Like, you see what Steph and him doing? Yeah. He was doing that. Yeah. Like, if he was, if he was playing in this generation, dog, psh, nigga. Yeah. That nigga was a bucket, dog. Yeah, him and T-Mac. I was watching something the other day. He was saying, like, when it come to effortless score, the best score, if y'all don't mention Tracy McGrady's name, yeah. don't talk to me. <laughs> cause dog, with you, cause even like your pull up when you drive pull up, it's like that little, you know what I'm saying, McGrady type play yeah. off the crossover pull up. Yeah. Like T Mac, I'm mad, dog, cause he was like, I don't know, dog, with Toronto, he was a beast. Then he went to um Orlando. That's when it was gonna be him and Grant. Yeah. If Grant didn't get hurt, dog, they could have did some things, bro. Yeah, T Mac too, man. Like them injuries hurt him too. Yeah, cause people forget him and Kobe was fighting for their top spot mm -hmm. for a long and, and, and Ivo. Yeah. Like, I be looking at the film now, I be seeing him, like, like he young killing a 40-year-old a Mike. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. care this 40-year-old Mike. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He killing him, mm -hmm. like. And it's a match, because they said that they was going to trade Pippen. Yeah, for, for T-Mac. For T-Mac. Man, that nigga was. Man. <laughs> that motherfucker was a beast, dog. Now, me and this nigga, I think we, we, we definitely had some arguments about this. One-on-one -on -one in a prom, dog. KD, T-Mac. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Cause they both damn near both seven foot damn near. Cause T Mac damn near seven foot tall. Cause he was right there with Tim Duncan. Six nine. As yeah, far as height man. wise, so. Damn. He, um, they both alone. That's tough. <laughs> that's tough. I'm gonna go ahead and call a wash on that one, man. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna say that's a wash. I don't know. I just be happy to be there to see that, man. man cause like but I, honestly, I think T Mac is um. I think T Mac got everything that, like you know. I think he got like like LeBron's passing skills. Like yeah. people sleep on yeah, that. People sleep on his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he can score like yeah. Kobe and McGrady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know he he had to carry the load. You know early in Orlando. For sure. Yeah. So yeah. his defense wasn't there, but when you look at him in Toronto, his defense was yeah, superb. Yeah, yeah. Like he was blocking blocking shots and grab. You know, yeah, grabbing yeah, out the yeah. air. Because you had Vince Carter was the main. You know, what I'm saying scorer. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And true, like, Orlando he had niggas like Tony Petit. Uh, T. Lou, like he yeah. had no squad for. Real. I think the best person he had besides him was a uh, Mike Miller. Yeah, Mike, Mike Miller. Miller got that. He was the rookie of the year. Yeah. Whatever. Outside of that, bro, he was he was. <laughs> Daryl Armstrong. <laughs> yeah, it was a struggle for him, dog. Yeah. It was a struggle, dog. Uh, hey, what's that? I forgot that white boy name, dog. Uh, 
Matt Harpering or something like that, dog. No, did Harpering play? Yeah, I think, I think he, he did. Yeah, he had nobody, dog. <laughs> so when people be all killing him for that three one lead they have with Detroit, bro, look at that squad. Like when Allen Iverson, bro, he took a team a nobody to the championship, dog, and won a game against the Lakers when nobody did that. Yeah, shit. and I feel like that's one of the best times, like. During the NBA, like that 96, 97 yeah. area. Even though I didn't get to see it, but just looking back on it yeah. and looking back at the, yeah, the yeah. collective of players. Because you had Ray Allen who was dunking. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's when niggas, Ray wasn't shooting that mother all the time, dog. Yeah. He had handles and he had house, bro. Right, like, yeah. Ray was that guy, bro. So, man, when you you coming up, man, you, you like I said, you were you a young butt, you playing and stuff, dog. What uh, what made you go to uh, SC, dog? What were some other high schools you thought about going to? Uh. We was really looking for the best culture. Yeah. So, you know, Mark White kind of knew my my family. Okay, okay. So he was on his heavy. Yeah. He was on his heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you were like, basically, you was in there like straight out of eighth grade then, right? Yeah. Yeah, because like I, I was telling this, um, uh, Coach Brooks, bro, I played for Gross Point, but then they kicked me out because I moved back to the city. And I went to Southeastern way before you did, though. Mm. <laughs> but it's like, they got their squad, bro. So when you trying out, man, we trying out. It's like 60 niggas trying out for one spot. Yeah. So like, dog, come on. It's a waste of time. Yeah. And at the time, they had Brandon Jennings. They had Big Walk. They had Rayshawn Marshall. Uh, tone like they had squad, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. So I'm in that mother. I'm doing good. I'm throwing oops. Coach Stevenson was there. Coach Stevens was uh one of the assistants. Yeah, yeah. God rest his soul, man. You was there. Yeah, yeah. He uh he was like, man, you did good, nigga. I was hype, bro. I went to my mom like, dog, you ready to come to these games? Man, I went back and looked at that paper, dog. Niggas made the squad. I didn't see Sterling, man. I cried my ass off. I went home, nigga. I left school, went home, dog. I'd have I'm... been sick too. Shit. <laughs> that was the end of my whole career right there, yeah, yeah. dog. But you, know, you, uh, you know, you had to go like during the summertime. I didn't know that. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people didn't know that. So yeah. you, we used to go and see guys in the gym, like you know, at, during school, like hours, niggas going to the gym and hoop. Yeah, so you would see them, like, yeah, okay, he can yeah. hoop. He actually can hoop. Yeah, 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 yeah. But when it comes time to do the tryout. You know, other people come from the woodwork and being there. And we just yep. be laughing at them. Because like, you know, man. like, nigga, y'all niggas go hard. Because, oh, yeah. <laughs> nigga, it's a, how many people be on a high school roster? Like, between 12 and 15? Yep. And you got to think, bro, they probably got 14 already. <laughs> so if you do make the team, nigga, you got to hope. Like, you might sniff a, you might not even sniff a time. You're going to have to wait and get that garbage time or something, dog. No, for but real. Niggas do be fucking up, though. Oh yeah, great. Yeah, oh sure. yeah, that too. Now let me ask you this, dog. As far as like school was like, of course you know you gotta go to school. You know, what I'm saying you gotta have a certain GPA was like. Without basketball, you think you would have been like a, a good student because once I wasn't like in eleventh grade, I didn't hoop for the first time. My grades just fell like tremendously. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> That's I don't know. My mom's school teacher, so she wasn't. So she's on your head. She wasn't gonna let yeah, that. Yeah, she wasn't gonna let that happen. You know, I I, I kind of enjoyed it. Yeah. You know, now that I'm older, I wish I would have learned. You know, I wish they would have taught us. Did know, a little some, bit more. Some, yeah. yeah, some different things. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Though I was saying, like, when you growing up, you know, saying it's credit for uh, instance, like exactly. you don't know nothing about those type of things, investments and stuff like exactly. that. Like, I think the school system seems to have more of that in the curriculum and stuff like that as electives, so you can learn about these different things. Right. So when you get older, because most of our parents don't know nothing about credit, because you know, for the most part, shit, they might have messed up your credit. No, for real. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, man. No, hey, man, real. I forgot to ask, bro. I always ask everybody, give me a song or an album that take you back to a particular time in your life. Every time you hear this song or this album, dog, you just, damn, I was hooping or this day I was with Keisha. Like, right? <laughs> um, damn. This a time. It ain't got to be like a certain, it could be just a time frame in your life, man. A certain year, a certain era, whatever. No, I feel that. Um, I would say recently when I went to um, Qatar. This is mm -hmm. probably like three, four years ago. I know it ain't, you know, that long, but yeah. I was rocking with the uh, the ASAP mob. Okay. But I was in guitar, and I was all I was listening to, man. It just yeah. was dope, man. I kind of listened to it the other, you know, not too long ago, like a few days ago. Yeah. So that kind of just, you know, that's fresh on my mind. But that's man. like some junk that was getting you ready for games. Yeah, yeah. 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 I was always wondering, like, what was the hype music? Like, would you a type of dude who had to listen to, like, certain music before a game in high school? Um, or college or whatever or you See just in high school it? man I was heavy on like Cause my pops was into rap Yeah yeah You know you're sure. real cool With Rakim Yeah yeah So yeah. I grew up you know With that and It kind of trickled down with Me listening to Jay Z mm -hmm. Like I've been telling Cash Jay Z the, the best ever Since I was in second grade Yeah for sure For sure We argue about me See me and this We close but we argue About everything Yeah <laughs> God told me that Nas to me Is better than Jay Z <sighs> <Not even> close. <laughs> yeah, just, It's close It's close dog I it's, it's, I get what you're saying. Like, I get what you're saying. As far as, like, 
body of work, but as far as the talent, yeah. as far as the talent, like Nas got it, but as far as like actually putting it together, yeah. He, he, did nobody put it together like <laughs> Yeah, because like TJG, he got the total package, dog. Like, as far as like production, everything. Like, now it's always been like, that was his always downfall. It was yeah. like, everybody always talking about his production stuff. Yeah. Like, niggas had terrible beats, but good songs. Yeah, but he's been lyrics. catching some flames lately, oh, I see, with Hit Boy. So, yeah, Hit Boy, dog, and turned his whole life around, yeah. dog. But that's what happened, bro. Like, like Hit Boy, man, did change this nigga whole. No, for real. Hit Boy do that, though. Hit Boy is he high, he young. And I see he been with him a lot lately, too, Big Sean. Big Sean, yeah. So now I want to see what the heck he got. Because yeah. uh, a full project with him, man, I think more artists need to start tapping in with one producer who, like, they they, they sound kind of like bring the best out of them. Right. Instead of, like, having different producers on every song. No, that's true. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you do. Cash Money days, Manny Fresh was the only person no, making their beats. That's true. And they was yeah, hot as hell. To ask you a question though, I was I was on the bus hop. I was listening to like Benny Siegel and yeah. Jay Z, you know, in high school. So I was listening to all the you know, the sure. older, older sure. stuff. Now man, we was you, you tapped in and talked about the AAU John dog. Like looking back compared to now, do you think AAU is kinda like be on some bullshit depending on the coach? Because a lot of these coaches be more into it than the players. I go on these little Facebook pages and coaches arguing with each other about, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it is kind of, it can be toxic. Yeah. It definitely can be toxic. Um, I haven't been around this much. Yeah, for sure. But I know like, from the time I was in it, how, yeah. how it was getting toxic. Yeah. And now with social media and everything, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. how it can get, you know, pretty outlandish at points. You know, they get to fighting refs. And, Man, dog. <laughs> like, dog, that's a scary job, dog. A ref in the Detroit Public School League or like the AU circuit, bro. Yeah. Because you got some crazy parents who will come out there and try your yeah. ass. <laughs> no real talk. Give me a uh, good coach versus bad coach, dog. Like, and yo, you, you ain't had plenty of coaches, bro. Like, what what was a good coach in your eyes in, in compared to like a bad coach? Like what did that good coach might have had that, you know what I'm saying, that that bad coach didn't have or whatever? Was it like personal relationships or like I would say learning how to manage that the personal relationship with mm -hmm. um allowing you know, each and every player to grow in their way. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I think you know, I think some sometimes a bad coach he might ego trip, mm -hmm. might make it about him. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, for I'm sure. Saying? Yeah, yeah. Or try to change a game. Trying to change a game, yeah. like you know, break you down and build you up when everybody don't need that. Yeah, you know, certain sure. players need it, certain players don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, dog. Right yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> no, for real. Yeah, for sure, dog. Because the right coach is fucking man. Yeah. That's important, dog. Yeah. They mess up everything. High school, college, yeah. the uh, pro career, like. For real. The right coach, bro. Like you need that coach, man. You do, man. Now your high school year, man. You, your your high school years. You went to the city championship twice. Uh, you won your senior year, bro. I never forget because I was there. Shit. <laughs> it was man. Y'all had squad. Y'all had Ed, you, Percy, uh, King Yada. Yeah. Who's light skinned dude had like a little fro? He was like he was another big on y'all team. I want to say. Like, I want to say he was light skinned dude with a little fro or something. Name might have been Will. Will it, Washington. And then y'all had like this brown skin kind of cocky like guard. Uh, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Duro, Mike. We yeah. had a good team. Y'all had a squad, bro. And I never forget, dog, because, uh -huh. you know, I went to Southeastern, bro, but when I came there, I was always on the king side. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Real, not with the king and stuff. So I never forget, dog, the, that city championship at Cass Tech. Uh, I think Cass was kind of like on the newer side. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Me and him in here, dog. That's when you were sick, bro. You couldn't. <laughs> The gym was so packed, bro. Yeah. And he, he was like, man, y'all got to go up there. He's like, nigga, I'm fucked up. I'm right here on the first. So I'll go up there, man. You right. y'all playing against Mel? Y'all every year King was close to being oh, y'all. Oh yeah, every fucking year. Ah, <laughs> but y'all was just y'all was just big as hell. Yeah. Like Percy was big as hell. Big Nobody as was hell. gonna check Percy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You a big ass guard. Malcolm them all. You know, ace way smaller oh, than shit. Like yeah. they, but they was matching y'all the whole time. Yeah. And that particular game, bro, they was going. Y'all was going back and forth, back and forth. And I remember Dennis Northfleet, dog, got that tech. <laughs> he went to go jump on the rim. Jumped on the rim. <laughs> That blue, y'all had us. Yeah, they had it. And then um, that's when uh, they, shot, they shot the tech sent to the overtime. And I said, I'm like, it's overtime. It's a wrap. Yeah. It's over. Yeah. And y'all came out, I think y'all made like three points in a row. And yeah, it was he, a got the, he shot the two techs off Two the techs, rib. yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dog, so like, man, so talk about that uh, that, little, that time. Then y'all went to, um, y'all played a championship against, um, was Cody? Cody. Cody was, I think both of y'all was undefeated. Yep, in the PSL. Yep, yep, yep. And y'all yeah. won that game, man. I remember your dad going crazy. He had the belt. 
Like no, nah, that was that was that wasn't my dad. That was a guy named. Uh, oh, he was with Chap Chap McCullough. He the one that be on like. Uh, <laughs> if you have if you follow Chap Chap Universe, I think his name is on uh, Instagram. But he yeah. be uh, he be talking sports all the time. Okay, you know okay. he might be dope to have on the show too. For sure. But he talks sports all the time. He's connected with um a lot of people. Yeah. But, uh, specifically um Stephen A. Smith. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's dope. That's dope. But uh, he the one that had the damn belt. There. <laughs> your dad was going. I remember your dad because my mom was mad because. <laughs> Y'all was already beating her son team, and yeah. your dad was getting hyped, boy. <laughs> <laughs> like, dog, talk about them, 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 them years, man. And y'all wound up losing in the states in the championship. Yeah, we lost in the championship. Yeah, man, uh, talk about those those years at Southeastern, dog. Those four years, man, and particular winning that city championship. Man, that was the first time I think y'all won in like fifty five years. Yeah, yeah. So we was trying to break the drought my sophomore year because we we down there packed out. Um, I guess we all lost to Persian. Yeah, we packed yep, out yep, Callahan. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was my sophomore year. And we actually did we go to the regionals? Yeah, we went to the regionals that year. Yeah, yeah. Lost yeah. the purge. We kept on losing the purge. No, they, man. Cause, like y'all, them niggas had a squad. They had, yeah. Uh, Juwan Howard. They had uh, uh, Knicks. Yeah. Keith. Knicks. Dog, quick story about Keith. I'm like, when I heard the hype about him, bro, I'm like, he can't be that good. Can't be. I ain't gonna say Mel, uh, they they sent her name though, but dog, when I say this fool knee was on top of his forehead when he pulled they done. It's like Renaissance. Yes, dog. Yeah, you was there. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a nigga lift his shirt. My mom, my mom went crazy, dog. She don't even go crazy, dog. <laughs> The whole gym went crazy, bro. So that was a tough team, dog. Like no, they was tough them years, man. All my years, like if you look at it from my sophomore year to my senior year. It was a team from the east side. Yeah. At I mean, at, um, at Breslin yeah, in the every championship time. every yeah, year. Yeah, 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 man. So yeah, that year y'all won the championship, man. Y'all beat Malcolm shit. North Fleet did some dumb junk, dog. Like, yeah. Yeah, I know y'all, y'all never, never beat, beat us. us. I, I I be joking oh, with a. Uh, I be joking with like I never lost a king. Yeah. I don't be joking. <laughs> yeah. Never lost even one. Uh, What's name is some free throws? It just wasn't destined for y'all to be. No, it wasn't. Um, Cannon missed some free throws. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember, remember Cannon. That? Yeah, 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 yep, yep. Anthony Cannon missed some free. Throws. I know he it was, was always hard to play at South East. That crowd was fucking. Again, <laughs> <laughs> like, and they had a newer because when I left, that's when they had got the new uh, they, the, the new school had opened up. The year I left, I think it was one more year they went um at Foch, and then that's when they was ready. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, dog. Yeah. What was what was the coach name again for uh South Eastern? Uh, so it was Mark White my first two years, and then George Ward my okay. second two okay. you years. You still keep a uh, connection with them? Yeah, they actually called me the other day, uh, and you know was trying to you know give me some positive words because I, I tried out for the Pistons G League too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We gonna touch on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, dog, I was mad, y'all niggas, dog. <laughs> then every year, dog, can't can't watch my brother win. <laughs> Yeah, but they, and they like I said, Mountain them, they had the guards, but they just they couldn't they couldn't match y'all on y'all sides. Yeah, y'all was y'all 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 had some big kids, dog. Yeah, I always run into King, especially in that in that district. Like, yeah, yeah, it yeah. was tough for King, boy. Yeah, I go in there, they clown me like, "What you doing cheering for King?" Like, though my brother played for King. I know I went here, but I can't yeah, I can't go against my brother, dog. Yeah. So and then that same year, you was named uh, Player of the Year and stuff like dog. How how is it, dog? When you like the man, like niggas know, like dog, that's the man. Like every time somebody walk into the gym, they're like, all right, they watching you, all eyes on you, dog. Is that pressure, bro? Like when you was going through those four years? Um, uh, yes and no. Yeah, I was just more upset about you know the the, the grown man. Mm-hmm. Now that I'm older, the grown man, mm-hmm. you know, hate hating on a younger kid. Yeah, you yeah, know, for somebody sure, that's yeah. you know. That's kind of how I look at it out. I'm older. You know, I can never be in that position to be an older man to hate on yeah, yeah. hate on a younger kid. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. So, man. like, I wouldn't say I felt pressure from that. Mm-hmm. It's just something that, that drove me, and that's kind of why the belt came on. That's kind of why I jumped <laughs> on the stage. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all went ham, dog. <laughs> yeah, you know, it was yeah. so much talk around the city about, you know, about me as far as, you know, certain, you know, certain stuff throughout the years. So. Yeah, for sure. You had to, you feel like, yeah, I'm proving y'all wrong. I, I ain't went to the championship once, boy. Uh, one player a year and all that junk like man shut the hell up dog yeah. like can't say too much about me dog exactly there's only so many people who do you know what I'm saying did those things and exactly like I said so shit that's... and I remember being upset like at halftime we was down like 18 and like yeah, y'all, was, y'all was down six. cause my man I remember I forgot who it was but Zez yeah, Zedrick yeah, he went crazy yeah, dog he first half. Crazy. yeah I think you finished with like 19 that game yeah. I remember Ed hit some big threes threes at the yep, end yeah yep yep, yep. Yeah. yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, you can't leave him open, bro. Because if you yeah. play, don't play no zone, and then uh, get back around to him on the swing. Yeah, he knocking that shit down. And then King Allen was like a, a strong little nigga. Strong, dog. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> it was strong. His whole ever yeah. since he was playing with y'all in like middle school, he was always like a cocky, strong mm-hmm. dude. Dog. Yeah, we trusted Kenyatta a lot. Like and he was younger than right? a freshman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. Was there, like some lot of questionable stuff. He did some smart. So, so yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you are, but you always got those dudes who like kind of like super energetic and hard on defense, gonna do some bonehead shit, mm-hmm. but gonna make it up though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So man, was you you play all four years on varsity? I played all four years. Would you uh, start? You ever came off the bench or you started the whole time? Uh, I came off the bench a little bit during my my freshman year. And then I, I eventually started. Okay, okay. Now, yeah. uh, now you know, high school years, you playing for the family, man. How was that? Like, who was on your some of them teams that you was from the family? Who was, was some dogs and stuff, dog? So I played for the family my early years. So Cause you had wasn't wasn't uh, Coach Webb one of your coaches? Yeah, Coach got, Webb. Got, got rest of soul, yeah, yeah, got rest of them, Coach Webb. Um. That was the earlier, so it was like, man, we had Jawan Moody and Jawan Howard, yeah. Marcel, um, Marcel Smith. Um, yeah. yeah. I think, bro, like, low-key, real talk, after y'all graduated, man, I think the PSL might have fell off talent-wise. Yeah, part. it did. Yeah, then a lot of schools got closed down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it, yeah. it, it might have fell off a little bit, dog. I think, and I think just a lot of the, you know, older guys, they didn't, it wasn't consistent enough for them to come back to the city to, you know, yeah. to get with the talent for or, sure. you know yeah, what I'm saying, yeah, yeah. help guys, you yeah. know, raise their talent level. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure, man. Now, you you uh, you uh, you uh decided to go to Michigan State, bro. Was there any other school that you was thinking about going to outside of Michigan State? Uh, A lot of people don't know I committed to Michigan. Oh, for real? Yeah, I committed to Michigan. My pop stopped me. Yeah. Because uh, at the time, they wasn't heavy on Percy. Okay, okay. Because, man, Percy was kind of like a package deal yeah, type yeah, yeah, deal. Yeah, 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 Because he wanted to go on to uh, Iowa State. Iowa State. Okay. Oh, he went to Dayton, committed to Dayton, and then he switched to Iowa State. Mm-hmm. So that that's what that, that's what made you turn around? Who was the coach? Was it the black dude? At uh, Michigan? Yeah. It was, was Beeline. Oh, Beeline was there? Was there. Yeah. Okay, damn, I thought my man... Yeah, tell me, I thought it was him though. Who was no, the coach? It was okay. B line was there. Yeah, but now I was. Yeah, I, I want. Sure. I want to say this. Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> am, like tell me. Am I wrong? Yeah. Like Cause tell me. Am I. Am I wrong about this, yeah, bro? Yeah. You went to Michigan State, and you know, saying your freshman year, half your sophomore year. Now, to me, Michigan State always seemed like it was a system type of team. Like they always, it was heavy on the big guards. Like you know, what I'm saying more like the Draymond Greens, the Denzel Valentines, the dudes who could bring up, but then could play big. Yeah. They was never like guard. You know, what I'm saying he. It was never like a. A team of guards who can just go get a bucket. Right. Unlike Michigan, it seemed like they was more so for like the guards to go get a bucket. Yeah. So the offense, like the offense, is was more tailored to for, like for Michigan was more open. Yeah. For you sure. know what I'm for saying? Sure. The bigs catch it out top. They can shoot threes. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Mid range. You know a lot of a lot of pick and roll. Mm-hmm. Uh, Michigan State was more of you know a system of you know three, four, five, six passes. Yeah, you know for sure. Yeah. yeah. You know catch and pivot. You know, Michigan was more, you know, was more loose. Yeah, not looking back on that, do you be like, damn, I wish I would have went to Michigan instead or? I wish, to be honest with you, a lot of people don't know that. I took a visit to Kentucky. Okay, okay. Calipari, you know. That was the year that uh, Anthony Davis was there? Anthony Davis yep. was going there. Yep, so yep. I took a visit now, and they were supposed to come see me mm-hmm. in, um, in open gym. Yeah. And I think he came. He didn't, he didn't come. Okay. But Antigua. Orlando Ortega mm-hmm. and um, Rod Strickland, they was heavy on me. And we okay. they was just oh, yeah, waiting on Kyle Perry yeah. to come in, see me, yeah. give me the offer. Damn. That was it. <laughs> that was, that, yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? I, I would have I went there, you know, off rip. Yeah. yeah. And like I said, that's even, uh, speaking of, um, Rocket. Rocket went to Michigan State. Now he going to Kentucky. Yeah. I think, like, with him, I think that the offense probably wasn't tailor made around him because I saw him in high school get buckets. Yeah, like I said, it's a nigga, great coach, one of the best college coaches ever. But I just think his 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 system is more so of a a team a team effort. And if you a a bucket, it ain't yeah. for you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? No, yeah, I know. I noticed that when I got there, but. You know, the type of person I am, I could have played in, you know, the free system, yeah, you know, sure. or, or the, the or the yeah, or the yeah. team system. So now, dog, that first year, it was it was you. It was uh, Adrian Payne, Keith Applin, Travis Trice, Brandon Dawson, Draymond Green, and Derrick Nix. Like, God damn. <laughs> 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 like, bro, like, like, that first year, like, I know y'all are probably thinking, like, we about to win this motherfucker. Yeah. Like, we actually won on, a, I think, the longest win streak at Michigan State. Yeah. At the time, I think it was like 16, 17 For wins. sure, for sure. And I like that that, that year, y'all uh, y'all tied, the three-place tie for the uh, Big Ten. Yeah. Y'all won a Big Ten championship. Y'all wound up losing to uh, Louisville and Sweet 16. Yeah. But then Kentucky wound up winning the whole thing. <laughs> Talk yeah, about Kentucky, exactly. Though. Now, I ain't going to speak on Keith and with his situation, man, or whatever, but him as like a college player, bro, like, 
That boy, that boy was ridiculous, dog. Yeah, to he me. was. He was. Um, man, Keith, that's my dog, man. Yeah, for sure. But um, yeah, no, Keith was both ends, yeah. two way, you know, two way play, you know, yeah. two way playmaker, two way, you know, two way score. For sure. You know, he did that for State, and yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying he made it to the league. Oh yeah, you know for sure. Keith is a le you know a legend around here. Hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah you gotta give him his. Lakers. Hell yeah. Then he went. Yeah, yeah. Then that's when he had uh, signed a contract with Orlando, and then you mm -hmm. know everything. Y'all know what, what happened after exactly. that. Exactly. What about uh, how was it with dog with like Draymond? That nigga like. Somebody who get, who get on your nerves like type of player, or he like somebody gonna stay in your face, make sure you get this shit straight, like both. Yeah, cause back then that's when he was like a little fat kid. I'm like, who's this fat dude? Like, yeah. who can ball though? He both. He the same way he is. The same way he is now. You yeah. know, he gonna push his teammates to the limits. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He gonna make you uncomfortable. You know, challenge you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Now tell me, dog, have that. Wait, this could be college. Anytime in your career, your, your career, dog, college or high school, that it, 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 some hands had to be thrown. <laughs> Uh, yeah, man, Ed got to some fights in high school. You want who? Me and Ed. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 He'll make you want to. I remember one time like, when we was playing against our nigga at Cash, bro. I, was, I was shot the ball. This nigga pointed his finger in my face. Bro. Like, bro, I never, all, that, all my years, somebody never did. Like, you put a hand in the face, nigga, put your finger in your shit. It was one dude for King. I saw film. I gotta put it. I gotta put it on social media. Yeah. Uh, I don't know who it was. They sent them in to do some dirty shit to me, yeah. and he kept fucking with me. I'm like, all right. <laughs> so I just put my hands up and I elbowed him about a good 10, 15 <laughs> times. Like, you know what I'm saying? Boy, that's that Finney stuff, you know. Ed, Ed, and them had learned from you know playing oh, yeah, that Finney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now when y'all when when something happened like that, like is it, is it squash immediately or like, or like uh, it take, it take a little it take a little time? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you kids, like, you know what I'm saying? But, man, it used to be, always be together, so, yeah, like... Yeah, 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 for sure. You know, it took it, it took a little time. Yeah, for sure, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, When I got to college... Oh, you may, maybe shit. a scrap you seen? Shit, Izzo tried to put his hands on me. Oh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> he be in your... And he, 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 it's it been footage of him being in... He be in players' faces, though, Yeah, like. he tried to, and I'm like, nah, man, you can, you know what I'm saying? You <laughs> was can he talk to him. Was he a first coach to do that? Yeah, like, the first coach Okay, okay, okay. And then I know you was like, damn, hold on, cuz. I was like, yeah, chill yeah. out, bro. Because like, kind of like when you're in high school, like, white, you know, my pops, wore yeah. my pops, so they ain't really going to put their they hands yeah, on the kid yeah, that got, right. you know, appearing yeah, at home. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But you said when that happened, you had to, you know, tell them to chill out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I got to some I got to some scraps with some people at Arizona State. Yeah. On some open gym type stuff. <laughs> now, mm -hmm. dog, you, you know, you finished uh, the freshman year, your uh, sophomore year, you wound up transferring, though. Like, was it because of what we talked about? Because you didn't think this, that, that, that team – and the system was a uh, for you. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. Honestly, I didn't think it was for me and my development as you know, as a player. Mm -hmm. I didn't think they really watched me in high school. For sure. Because you know I was a one, two, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like when I got there, I couldn't even really like fight for a position. It was yeah. like certain stuff was already you know set yeah, in stone. Yeah, yeah, already was. Yeah. And then once they seen like. Oh, my skill set. Then they wanted to fit me in these different, yeah, these different spots instead mm -hmm. of just you know putting, putting you me, out there. Like, like yeah. you play, dog. And that's bro. That's always like it's always tough, man, because you never know, you know how the outcome gonna be once you pick a college or whatever, dog, or even high school. Like you just gotta pray that. All right, I'm I'm praying that this this is gonna fit me right. because that's gonna that's gonna kind of like determine everything that go on with you. You know, what I'm saying for the long run. No, that's you know true. No, that's true. And you know, what I'm saying it's like. Like now, like you know, what I'm saying with me doing doing the G League tryout, mm -hmm. you know, I've done that before. For sure, for you know sure. what I'm saying. But like you know, not making a, the proper decision yeah, yeah, in college, yeah. you know, it can it can yeah, you know yeah. mess you know mess certain things up. But I'm thankful for you know for, for, sure. for all of it, like yeah, the yeah, ups and downs. Shit, yeah, nigga, somebody else who you know was just a good hooper, like dog. He had game. He'd be he'd die being your position. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Exactly. See, see or, or or go through the things that you went through. You didn't play against some of the best. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You've been you've been around. You've been playing. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To this day. Yeah. Like you said, even with the ups and downs, like you got to think about that type of stuff. Yeah, for sure. Day. For sure. Yeah, like for I said, sure. cause that can mess your mind up, dog. Cause it can. Now, speaking of, bro, like you already know, you coming out of high school, you going to Michigan State that freshman year. Everybody and their mama like, oh, yeah, that nigga Brandy going into the league. Tell me how, how it was as far as the people who was around you then to now. Did you see people, like, fade away if they thought, like, the dream was it going to become a reality? Oh, uh, I think being the type of person, the type of person I am, not mm -hmm. so much, you know, the athlete. Mm -hmm. Like, people still just gravitate towards me just because I'm, you know, I, I like, I'm genuine. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm humble, so. Mm -hmm. Uh... 
in certain ways the relationship changed. Yeah, 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 for sure. But you know, ultimately, I'm like, you know, that's not. I can't put that on them. Yeah, for so sure. you know, I, I make sure the relationship stay. You know, on a yeah, personal level, I yeah. make sure it still stays. Yeah, you know, you know how it is. Sometimes people look at you might be oh that's a male ticket yeah. or, or he gonna be around could put me in these situations. Yeah. You know, let me go ahead and stick around. Yeah, and then they see things down down. He like let me yeah. go ahead and fall back. But I kept you know? I kept my I kept my my circle tight. Yeah, for sure. So it wasn't just no. So it randoms. wasn't just no randoms like yeah. you know what I'm saying. Like I was mentioning the guy Champ like. He helped me and Keith get a slam magazine, and okay. he was a coach for Osborne. Oh, shit, yeah, yeah. You know, he still called my phone to this day. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So you got that. that was, that's like a genuine relationship. Genuine relationship. Yeah, 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 for sure. Now, you finished off. Uh, you went to Arizona State. You finished off at UAD, bro. What made that come back to the crib, man? Like, so I played with uh, Ray and Trey Ziegler. Oh, yeah, yeah, Ray McCullough, yeah, yeah. So we won, like a, um, we won a national championship in, in high school mm -hmm. in the, Ve the Vegas tournament. Yeah. So, um... You know, I was I was locked in with them and Ray and Trey. You know, they was both coaches. Trey Ziegler senior was a coach at um. I mean, I think he might be Trey Ziegler junior. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna be mixed up yeah, on that. One. Sure. But he was a coach at Central, and then Ray McCallum was a coach at um. At uh, Mercy. And um. Uh, no, he went to. Yeah, he was at Mercy. Yeah, when yeah. I got there, he was at Mercy, and yeah. then they brought Trey, they brought um, Coach Ziegler, and Ernie Ziegler, okay. in. Okay. So it kind of like connected with that. Yeah, so, for you know, sure. I was familiar with them, so I. You know, finished my last year at, at U. Yeah. How was how was your last year, dog? Like, was that probably like you would say probably your best year as far as your college career? I mean, I played more. I got some film. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But nothing beat my freshman year, even though I ain't scored much of points yeah, or. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just the experience being out there, you know, for coming sure. up big, you know, in in, in, in you yeah. know in, in certain games. Yeah, I remember watching like that little nigga. That's nigga who, who beat my brother. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it's always weird, bro. Like seeing like dog, like dog, that shit crazy. Like even though you know, what I'm saying we ain't family and stuff, and I, I seen you, you know, what I'm saying passing the games and be like, dog, that nigga came from you know from the yeah, city. Like you always follow exactly. somebody who 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 doing their thing. It's never no. Hate, dog. Like, and be, be a lot of people who do hate because they down the situation, the situation that you in. Exactly. So it's easy to hate off that, but like, dog, I just shit. I love that you had made it just because you came from my school, my city. So yeah, no, that's shit. love. Yeah. That's love. That, you know, that's the way it should be. Yeah, yeah. I mean, only time I had y'all was when y'all played kids. Yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> Outside that, dog, y'all was good with me, dog. <laughs> no, I feel that. No, yeah. that's the way. That's the way it gotta be, man. Yeah, for sure, dog. Now, dog, like the, the, the things you was going through, bro, like in college and stuff. Like, was there ever a time you was like, man, I'm. Or even like once you became a pro, that you like, man, I'm done with this hoop shit. Like, yeah, man, it was times this year I wanted to be done. Yeah, but uh, I fought through it. You know, during the pandemic, mm -hmm. you know, I was going through the same thing. Even when I, I had got injured in 2019, mm -hmm. so I missed 2019. Then the pandemic came, and I'm yeah. like, damn, damn. Yeah. Um, after college, when I, you know, NBA wasn't in the sights no more, yeah. or. Certain stuff wasn't happening, you know, yeah, for right, it to yeah, happen yeah, immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, man, I really wanted to be done. But, you know, I fought through it. And my following year, my fresh, my, my, after my rookie season, I actually had a pro day with the Miami Heat. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you made it to the last, you got to the last cut, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, made yeah. it to the, I made a, um, I went to a, a, um, a pro day and then I went to a free agent camp with okay. the Miami Heat. Okay. Now, before that, right out of college, that's when you, uh, you you play over in Canada, right? Yeah. Like like what what uh, how how did that come about and like what was your experience like playing? So like you said, I was ready to quit after that. Right right after college. Right after I, yeah, I think I was still grinding, 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 and I didn't get a deal yeah. to go overseas. Yeah, for sure. You know, a lot of stuff wasn't going my way, so yeah. I went to you know a actual uh, a combine for the Canadian League. Okay. Didn't want to go that day. Yeah yeah yeah. Got up and went. Mm. And they drafted me second. Yeah, yeah, in the, for sure. You know, in the Canadian League, and then was it? I was playing. Yeah. I was playing um, my rookie season a little bit. Okay. And then um, we had a switch of coaches. Okay, okay. A guy named Paul McKeskey playing in the league, so mm -hmm. you know he understood that you know the NBA much more than the coaches in Canada. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Came there, and man, I that's when my my game, my confidence, yeah. and everything just you know yeah. it took back off. Cause you won a championship over there, right? No, I won a championship when I went to Qatar. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Now, now how is it, bro, like, as far as, like, be you in a different country, not in, at the crib and nothing like that, dog? Like, how is that, like, is that some adjusting to get to? Like, you in a different country, different uh, atmosphere, dog, everything different, like? Yeah, man, it's just, it's dope. Yeah. You know, it's dope to experience. Like, I had, I had did it when I played for the USA team. I had went to um, Argentina. Okay, all right. Singapore. Yeah. So I was, you know, kind of familiar with it. Yeah, you know, that's yeah, kind of what yeah. basketball do, you know, do. It kind of gets you familiar with it. Yeah. So, got there. I mean, as far as the, the playing style, you know, it's cool. Mm -hmm. The fans it's, different? 
Uh, and Canada fans was like, you know how them hockey fans yeah, in Canada, yeah, like they super love high, super, high, yeah. super high, like they yeah. love the, you know the rough, you know yeah. the, the rough basketball, like they be into it. Mm-hmm. Qatar, it was more like it was more like just the the, the community, the basketball community. Okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it was a little different. Oh yeah, yeah. Now you say in 2016, like you got the the call up from Miami and stuff like that. Like, dog, is there ever a time like when you get those tryouts and stuff like that as a player, you can be like, man. And am I wasting my time doing this junk? Like, like I said, when you go into a high school team, they already got their teams and shit. Like, yeah. Do do ever do ever be like that? Like, all right, I call up. Okay, cool. I go. But if you think like, all right, I can make this squad. You think like, shit. Like, maybe it's a waste of time. Like, how do, how do you, a player like that think when they get them call ups and stuff like that? As far as like a, a camp. Um. Yeah, I've ran into that going to like the local tryouts when yeah. I first came out. Mm-hmm. So some local trials went my way, some didn't. Uh huh. But you definitely go into that thinking that I actually ran into that when I when I went to the free agent camp with Miami Heat mm-hmm. and then it kinda like followed up and I went to a G League yeah, tryout. For sure. Not not tryout, but G League training camp yeah. with the Sioux Falls, um, which is the Miami Heat yeah, G League yeah, team. Yeah. I went there, but they already kinda had their team. Yeah, 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 for sure. So I did kinda yeah, run into yeah. that at the time. But I still took the experience, you know, learn from it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, got that on my resume. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, I mean, I, I, you always got to pull a positive, you know, out of, you know, yeah. any type of situation. Not, like I said, I saw an article, man, as far as uh, the, uh, the the Detroit Pistons' new uh, G League. I, I always want to call them the D League. I'll be, yeah. the D League, you remember how it so was. It used to be the D League, yeah. yeah. They, uh, they got their, uh, uh, the, the, what is it, Cruise? Yeah, Motor City Cruise. Cruise. Yeah, they had their trials and stuff, man. How, how was that? And, like, when would you find out as far as, like, making a roster or something? Uh, So, I went on the 15th. Mm-hmm. Um, I played well. Okay. I did play well. I feel like, you know, I was one of the better players in there. For sure. You know, other guys, like, um, other guys that was, you know, from the city that we know, from the AAU circuit and mm-hmm. everything that's, you know, progressing their careers, they feel like I played well. Yeah. So, I'm really just waiting on a, um, a call. For sure. They said, they said probably another, you know, a couple weeks. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, it's like, the process is... The NBA the Pistons still got to go to training camp okay. in off season, and then that's when they see who, and then they see yeah. who's going to trickle down from there, and then yeah. they can feel they rise. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like you know, I manifested it, man. I've been manifesting it over. Oh yeah, for sure. You over these last, yeah, 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 I mentioned that in the article too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like you know, I've been kind of you know manifesting it. So I'm just trying to see. You know how the manifestation is gonna work out. For sure, man. Once you you know what I'm saying get that call up, man. Go ahead, and give us some tickets, man. Oh yeah, for sure, <laughs> for sure. No, that's one of the things yeah, that that's one of the up. things that's important. Like yeah, that's what sure. we trying to do. We trying to bring in. Um, I feel like you know with me being part of the squad, like I'll bring that inner city PSL. You yeah, know, yeah, people yeah. to get some you know season tickets. Who ain't seen you playing? Who ain't seen me playing a while? Yeah, they yeah, see yeah. me playing state. So it's like, you know. Hopefully, you know what happens. Yeah. I believe it's gonna happen. Now with you know, those, still with bully. oh yeah, it's for gonna sure. happen yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Now with those trials, bro, like do it be like goddamn Jerome from around the corner, like or it be like real, like or they, or you gotta pay, no, yeah, for real. yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah dude. And you really gotta like figure out how you're gonna approach it, yeah, because some guys can get in your way. Some guys might not be. Mm-hmm. Some guys not, might not be good, and some guys might come down and shoot every shot. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm sure, saying? Yeah. So and you just out there like, come on, cause like, yeah. yeah. So I've been to something that's been like that, and <laughs> in this particular one, uh, they had a um, they had an experienced group. Mm-hmm. This last one we did. Okay. And um, I mean, my team won most of the games. Yeah, 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 you know, I played sure. well, so that's why yeah. you know that's what gave me you know. Yeah. The did you, did you see anybody there like, dog? Come on, man. <laughs> why you? <laughs> <laughs> not at this one not at this one but over my years of playing ball yeah. going to those yeah. hell yeah, yeah. like, like what like, like hell yeah like come on right. anybody can come anybody can come yeah man yeah. that's wild bro that's wild now yeah. I see you had congratulated somebody who got became a part of coaching staff was a uh, how, how did you know that um that that, that, that person I think I forgot. I forgot the Marcus person. Stout yeah 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 Marcus Stout yeah, you had a relationship with him already yeah I had a relationship with him already um he was working me out my after after I left UD after my last year. For sure, for sure. You know, Marcus Stout went to um, went to Renaissance, okay. played for Mark Mark, uh, Mark White. So okay. it's kind of like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 you yeah. know, what I'm saying that that type of um, that lineage or yeah. um, wherever you want to call it. Yeah. But um, yeah, Marcus Stout is he's on the staff. Yeah. Got got guy by the name of Mike Falletti's on the staff. Okay, okay. Uh, Rob Murphy. Um. You know, speedy. You know, all Detroit PSL. Yeah. PSL and see, that'd, that'd be dope because that mother gonna be right in the heart downtown. Just, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like a exactly. whole new. So if you can't afford those Pistons tickets, you can come. You know what I'm saying? Like exactly. It'd be dope because like a lot of G League teams, like even when the Pistons was in, 
Ann Arbor. Like, bro, like, we need something right here. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? No, that's true. Like, no, that's very true. This. Oh, really? Why is that? Ann Arbor. Oh, man, you know, I walk. <laughs> That's why I got you right there, though. That's why I got you right there. <laughs> I said, pass Van Arbor. But no, that's, that's true, though. Like, to bring something to the no, city. No, for sure, yeah. Because it was in Grand Did you say Grand Rapids? It was in Grand Rapids. It was Grand Rapids. That was the G-E-L-E-T official. They still got their hair, but it's just their parent team is the Nuggets now. Okay, 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 okay. So they still got that. They still got that one. It's going to be dope because they got a whole new facility down there everything. How was it? Was it straight, like, the whole facility? Oh, the facility is beautiful, man. Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. It's nice. That's what's up, man. Yeah, but yeah, uh, so y'all start playing November second because you know he gonna be on the squad. Yeah, I exactly. Said, <laughs> November sixth will be the first game. Yeah, mm. Motor City Cruise. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's exactly. Yeah, Appreciate yeah. you. That's what's up, man? Get some buckets, man. Get you get called up to the Pistons. Exactly. Shit, be, exactly. be balling, dog. Exactly. Hey, man, give me a player, dog, that just I ain't gonna say bust your ass, whatever, dog, coming up, but a player who who every time you play him, it was a challenge, dog. Or Keith. Maybe, Keith. Yeah. Yeah. What what, what, what made him so guard uh, so hard to guard, man? Was it? His speed, like it was just their 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 team, and then what he added to their team, like mm -hmm. you know him being at the top of they uh, top of they press for sure. Yeah. So you know once you know once once you get past the press and you don't score, yeah. they outlet it to him. And <laughs> it's over, yeah. And yep. he's speedy, like yeah. you know what I'm saying. He yep. get into the hole, yep, yep. and then once I got to Michigan State, like you know I seen what type of defense he could play. You know yeah. what I'm saying. So I I, I learned you know learned certain yeah. stuff just by paying attention and, and having to step in that role. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, when I see. I swear, man. Shout out to uh, East Warren, man. They used to be come out play for Ken. It was undefeated that time they played him at Renaissance. Man. Yeah. Like, I'm like, man, this dude can't be this good. Like, yeah. cause I heard people talk about how good people is. I'm like, no. I, I guess I was a hater or something, but. Man, I'm like, yeah. Man, he was low key. Yeah, he can drop that bitch too. He yeah, too. yeah, yeah. yeah. I think with his situation, like, like not speaking, I just think like, for his 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 a kids looking at like maybe things that he went through, bro. Like, sometimes if you know how you are growing up, maybe you just need like that's what rap, that's what anything. You might not might need to stay away from where you you know what I'm saying your mm -hmm. environment is, where you comfortable at, because you know you know how things is and yeah. stuff. Some people can't adapt to being you know what I'm saying still around the same niggas they was with yeah. in high school. As opposed to when they get older Exactly So sometimes like For anybody, anybody Like sometimes you might Have to change You know what I'm saying Change your surroundings Yeah for your, sure. your surroundings And people you messing with Yeah blood. Yeah it be like that it's, You know it's different From person to person Like oh, no, you for said For sure For yeah. sure For sure dog So then anything out, Like you talking about The training bro Anything outside of basketball That you You know what I'm saying Want to tap into dog Uh Or you, have, or you thought about yeah, I've been, you know, getting into the, you know, the music a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Just being around more creatives. Give me your rap name when you was coming up. I actually, <laughs> I actually, st I actually started rapping this spring, bro. For real? What, yeah, what, what, cause I just because I was on some bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it like people you was around? John? You like, it was like my brother, some kids, not kids, but some guys that yeah. um that hang with my brother. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. my brother does um. He does film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he studied film. He does film. I swear, the whole time I thought that was your twin, dog. <laughs> <laughs> no fools are just alike, dog. Yeah. Just alike, dog. So that's what is it? Something that you will get serious with, or something you just play around with? I don't know. Yeah. Because when I when I do it, I'm serious. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. So if I really want to, you know, you know, pull, you know, pull it out, you know, the yeah. aesthetic, like I'm, a, I'm gonna take it serious, yeah, like yeah, you know, regardless yeah. of anybody, you know, got to say, mm -hmm. I'm gonna take it serious. But yeah. it was just something I was like, let me see if I can do it. Yeah, for sure. But it's it's fun, bro. It's yeah. fun. It's an outlet. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's it's, definitely, yeah. Once yeah. you put the EP or miss about dog, come back on, dog. For sure, <laughs> for sure. We're about, now with the training, bro, it'd be funny, dog. Because a lot of times you look at these dudes. And like, dog, you 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 not you ain't no trainer, dog. Like, like I saw one dude, big heavy set dude, dog. No 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 offense, to, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect to heavy set dudes, but he's just telling the old girl what to do. He just sitting back. I'm like, dog, like be hands on. A trainer should be hands on, showing you what yeah. to do, not just sit back like, hey, do this. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so I think it's a process when it comes to that type of stuff. Like sometimes early on, I'll sit back and just see what type of stuff yeah, what that they, they need to work mm -hmm. on, and then. You know, I'll get out there hands on with them. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'll bring somebody. Oh, I'll bring somebody else with me mm -hmm. so they can guard them. You know what I'm saying? So I can For see sure. how they are gets yeah. reactive and deep. So you ain't like you ain't the, the so saying that um, piece right there. You ain't the cone type of a trainer then, or you do or I, it's it's, it's time it to use cone. It, it depends. depends though, because sometimes you need that. Like you say, you need somebody to touch them up in general so yeah. they can see how it is with the situation. Somebody sitting yeah. on one side or you know. Yeah. What I'm saying? So like you you might pull the cones out early so they can get the. The basic skill of drilling past this cone, reacting to the cone that's standing still, just to get the yeah, the yeah. movement down, sure. and then you know you just you know you progress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then when you get your buy out there and see how it is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Hell. Yeah. yeah, that's what I be doing. Yeah, I be yeah. I, 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 we already talked about that, John. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. That's the only thing I think that he need to work on. 
It's just his handle. His handle ain't trash, but once you can get that boy on the string, string it's yeah. gonna be way better. Right, yeah, for sure. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. What you had early, I feel like a lot of kids and RJ could, could get. You had early, I feel like you had those spots early. Yeah, I did. You you yeah, did. no, he did. Yeah. Spots, how to score? Yeah. Like how to score? That's niggas know. Hot as school, don't know no, no, hot as school. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 I know you. I know exactly yeah. what you mean. Your mid game was crazy. Yeah, to the book. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. My feet work. My footwork was 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 kind of. Uh, I worked on that at a young age. Yeah, you know, with my pops. You know, the few. Other and I'm saying you was like the type of person like you. You wasn't like forcing it. Nah, you just you right. like yeah, yeah. And see, that's why certain people like they got upset about, with me around the city just because I didn't. I didn't average thirty, but yeah. I could have averaged thirty. Yeah, for but sure. I played for war, like we only averaged fifty points. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, and yeah, I yeah. had to split time with you know Percy, who was you know a Division One player. Yeah, you got somebody on the block, a big body who can exactly. bang down there. You know what I'm saying? So you can't be down there. You gotta get in where you can. Yeah, and it's exactly with me being you know a, a taller, skinny kid too. You know, certain sometimes you know the smaller guards can get up under me, but mm-hmm. I figured ways. Yeah, yeah, you know, through, sure. through the course of the season. And like, and like I said, like I told my son, I tell the kids I coach. Uh, sometimes you can you can make a, uh, um, you can make your 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 point of game, and it don't have to be all about scoring, bro. Like, yeah. You need that person that's gonna be there, that dog who's gonna be yeah. in, in, in your in your chest on defense. Yeah. Or that person who's gonna do everything, set picks. Like, damn, this motherfucker always yeah. moving. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Just down there, who's gonna get rebounds? Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? If everybody on the team, gonna, everybody on the team ain't gonna be no scorers. Yeah. That happened to me in high school. Like, even though I could score, I knew I could score. I knew I could shoot. Mm. We had other scores on our team. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So there'll be times where I would score. Like one particular time, I had like twenty rebounds, yeah. but I had to guard the point guard. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so yeah, I knew yeah. when me guard the point guard, yeah. he take the shot. And I ain't seen you go out there and switch out. Yeah, cause like, yeah, man. So yeah, yeah. that just be niggas who gonna be knowing basketball by man. Yeah. He didn't score. Like nigga, like, yeah. you see everything else I did, bro. Exactly. Like, the people, like you said, hey. you had a lot of talent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you, you did. Years, you had a lot, a lot of, of talent. Yeah. That's a, that's a lot to try to score thirty. Yeah, cause you still gotta get him. You still gotta get Percy his touches. Cause like I said, he be a big body down there. Yeah. If you don't, I'm quite sure as a big man, especially in high school, if you ain't getting your touches, you kind of get frustrated. Yeah. So you got to make sure you feed him. Then that's yeah. when you do that. That's when you get to your bag. And then you naturally, know? like growing up, I was a point. Like, I'm sure y'all, you know, when y'all met me when I was playing for fight, I was playing a yeah. point. But yeah. when I got to high school, mm-hmm. you know, I did it. But yeah. I had to be, you know, I had to do it from the wing yeah. and, you know, late in the game type, type stuff. For sure, for sure. Hell yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Y'all niggas don't know nothing, man. Shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> you know, I mean, talking like, dog, shut up. Shut yeah, the hell yeah up, that's why man. I turned Facebook arguments now. Nah, I kind of oh, like. No, I can't, I can't, bro. I, I can't. dabble into them. Sometimes <laughs> I do, sometimes I don't. Like, dog, I stay away, dog. Like, I try to because it'd be like. <laughs> It's like, it's like, dog, are you watching the game, bro? Like, and then the thing I hate, even with um major platforms like ESPN and stuff, I just hate how people change their opinion on somebody in one game. Yeah. Or like, like one playoff yeah. series or something like. Prisoner in the moment type, yeah. type like, stuff. Like, people talk stuff about Dame, but dog, you see what Dame been doing for his team. He never had like no all stars come. Everybody they built through like the draft exactly. or free agency and stuff. Like him and CJ been doing it. Small guards. They've been doing it for, what, eight years? Exactly. And they ain't had no big body down there as far as they got Carmelo when he got older. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But they never had, like, no no, no dominant team, and they still been in the hunt every year. Exactly. So and that's that's one of the things that it gave me around, like, people with the city, because when Mark White left, mm-hmm. Persia wanted me. All the schools wanted me. Like, imagine if me and Persia would have ran over to Persia. <laughs> I was just thinking about that. Like, like we would have yeah. been one of yeah, the, you know what I'm saying? That's like, ridiculous, dog. It would have been ridiculous, but, yeah. you know, we stuck it out, you know, battled with them, you know, the following years, and... Mm-hmm. You know, when it was time for us to win, you know, you, yeah, know, yeah. you know, we took took care of business. You knew, uh, you knew Percy before you went to SC? Yeah, me and Percy been knowing each other since we was eight years old. Yeah, oh, sure. It's been a minute, yeah. man. Percy's into music now, so. Okay. Like, me and Percy did a song together. Yeah. But he's into the beats, but I don't know. I'm thinking about stepping into a manager role, you know, as far yeah. as that type of stuff. For sure. That'd be dope. Hell yeah. yeah. And then the training, that's something that you want to get more into, like, have more kids that you help out in the city and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That'd be exactly. dope, though. That'd be dope, yeah, man. Make everything come full circle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because they both connect. For sure. Now, once we get down to the end, man, we always have a, this nigga producer fucking up and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We always do our, we always do our top three man at the end i give you a category you give me your top three all right so give me your uh top three uh childhood crushes damn <laughs> <laughs> top three childhood crushes yeah girls like celebrity crushes not, oh celebrity oh yeah not crushes. keisha jump from ninth grade like <laughs> no <laughs> um, celeb celeb <laughs> oh that's a good one yeah Cause I, I mean i be into the celebrity shit but i don't be into it like yeah. um celebrity crushes um Sierra, fuck it. Oh, yeah, uh, for sure, for sure. Lauren London. 
Yeah, good good pick, good pick. <laughs> um Ooh we who was one who who wanna pick that can kinda of throw it off? <laughs> and I used to be like, I like her. Yeah. Um, you and Sierra, y'all could have had a tall, tall ass kid. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> dang, that's a good one, man. Yeah. Third one. That third one always hard, dog. It is. Laura London. Uh, Laura she, London, the never, one, you, though. You never go wrong with her. Yeah. Damn. Another celebrity crush. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Beyonce, man. Damn. All right, man, 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 man. <laughs> Give me your top three uh, Detroit Hoopers. Top three? Yep. Um. I'm gonna say Manny. All right, man. Here's the beast. I'm gonna say Manny. Yeah. Um, one of my favorites growing up was Eric Evans. Okay, all right. That was one of my. That's the first nigga I saw in high school at motherfucking Cobo, and that nigga was going crazy, <laughs> bro. The way he was fast, but he was paced with it. He was shifty. Left it. He was just cold. One, he, he like cold. cold with it. <laughs> that nigga every time I see no. that nigga, I'm like, bro. You First nigga I saw Like nigga You made me want to play High school for real Yeah Um Yeah Manny E And I'ma say I'ma say Keith Keith Apple Alright bad, bad. Good list Good list Give me your top three Underrated hoopers in the league In the league right now Yeah people They wouldn't expect For your like Who ain't the, like the You know what I'm saying The LeBron And stuff like that I love Shy Gilders Alexander Oh yeah yeah Hell yeah, yeah. I like Shy Yeah Underrated Who else Um it could be all time too. Like, oh, all, all time yeah, it too. Could be, it could be. Yeah, if you want to miss that. Um, I was just talking about. I can't say he underrated. People know about him. I'm gonna say Manu, but um, um, I like Shy Gil just right now. All right. Growing up, I'm gonna say somebody like. <sighs> underrated. See, my junk, my junk, my my, my two, it? my junk is Gerald Green. Underrated niggas don't even talk about him, dog. Um, uh, my man from um, god damn, how I forget his name, dog, from Detroit went to Memphis. Oh, Chris Douglas Roberts. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Chris Doug, yeah, for sure. Cold, 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 for sure. Cold, and then uh, my third be like under he ain't underrated, but he just was um, uh, he underrated, he just didn't be as good as he could have been because injury. Brandon Roy, oh, yeah, I'm gonna go. So, you got you got shy. Who I say first. Uh, Shea Gilders. I like him now. Yeah. I even like. I feel like what's name's been underrated throughout his whole career. Who that? Up until now, um, Drew Holiday. Oh hell yeah, hell yeah, hell That's yeah. one of my favorites. Hell yeah, dog. Big big guard, big guard. The post, all that shit. Hell yeah, yeah. definitely top. I, and I think T Mac on the on, on a certain scale, yeah, like as far as the greatest of all time yeah, scale, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Sure. score. Like I feel like he's. They don't want to put him in the same breath. I, as far as talent, yeah, when I'm yeah, looking yeah. at the eye test, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? As far as everything, I'm going to say T-Mac. Give me your top three uh, basketball jerseys, like as far as like the looks and stuff. The looks. Uh, I like that that Burgundy Pistons one they used oh, to yeah, wear yeah, with yeah, the yeah. horse on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that, John. I Grant Hill just did the, uh, the rims over there at um, yeah. Chandler Park. Like that. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. dope. Okay. That, um, one. that one. I like the... Um, I'm trying to think of 2K. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember the, the jerseys on 2K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, my John was name was in that John Vancouver. And it was Vancouver. Grizzlies. Vancouver. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, facts. Yeah, facts. I like the Nuggets one. Okay. okay. You know they kind of brung it back. You talking about the one, the one with Melo or the one with Matumbo? The one they used to have Alex. The one Alex English. Oh yeah, okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's the throwbacks. Yeah, when everybody's rocking the throwbacks yeah. jerseys. Yeah. Big ass Mitchell in his jersey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like fair. Yup. Yeah. Um. It's one in particular that I know I like, man. And they, see, one that they, they used to dog, bro. That that's my favorite one. It's the Toronto Raptors back with T-Mac oh, yeah. was on that. With the with the with the Raptor on that one. With the Raptors, yeah. yeah. I like the green, especially in the '77. Uh, the '77 uh, Mavericks. Okay. All especially right. with Luka Doncic, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, a yeah. green one with the yeah, Mavericks. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. I like yeah. that one a lot. Yeah, yeah, with the little ball, yeah. Give me yeah. your uh, give me your top three basketball moments. Uh, win the city championship. All right. Um, what else? Winning a Big Ten championship. Mm hmm. And um, uh, I would say winning the championship in Qatar. All right, man, man, that's that's a dope one. Yeah. Top three hoopers right now. Right now, in the NBA. Yeah. Kevin Durant. 
this nigga, man. <laughs> LeBron. All right. And Giannis, man. Giannis, yeah. he really proved a lot to me this year. Like, just his... Yeah, for sure. Everything. Yeah. This is, dog, and I see that he been working on that jumper, dog. Yeah. If he get, like, a mid-range, bro. Oh, my yeah. God. Man, it's going to be a wrap, dog. It's yeah. going to be a wrap, dog. Top three hoopers ever. I know T-Mac. T-Mac. Yeah, what's T-Mac. Yeah. T-Mac, Kobe, Brown. I mean, T-Mac, Kobe, Jordan. Okay. All right, bet. That's a good list, dog. Niggas be sleeping on what's the name, man. Last one, man. Your top three college players. Like, they, they college career. Because my, my three is... College is Melo. Syracuse, oh, Melo for sure. Syracuse Melo. Syracuse Melo. Yeah, he's a killer, dog. Syracuse Melo. Um... Kimba, oh, dog. UConn. Yeah, dog. That nigga was going crazy, dog. I remember me and this nigga screaming when he did that step back on pit. Man. Man. I want to go to UConn because of that. Yeah. <laughs> Kimba, my nigga, Jeremy Lamb. Nigga sure. was killing, dog. Yeah. Cold. Kimba was a beast, dog. Who else? He still is a beast. Ain't no other. But yeah, he definitely had one of the great college careers. Yeah, that's a good one, too, right there. Yeah, um, yeah. So you got Melo, Syracuse, Kimba, UConn. Shit, Magic Johnson. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to, yeah, you got to. Hell yeah. One, what goddamn went? That nigga went from uh, winning state championship, college championship, go to the league and win a championship as a rookie, bro. Like, <laughs> like what? Like what's that? Like, that's why he that's, was fucking with five six hundred. <laughs> <laughs> the destined one, like. Yeah. For sure. The destined one with that one. Yeah, for sure, dog. Hell yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one, dog. Nah, you know I asked you this, man, for off camera, dog. If it was okay, I asked you, dog. Give me a jump moment or a hot moment, dog. You know, what I'm saying it could be college days. Just a moment that you remember. You like, damn, I was on my ass. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think it was. It must have been like one of them fraternity step shows. Yeah. Up at Michigan State. Okay. And me and my girlfriend, they need, we didn't even make it in there. Mm -hmm. We were so drunk, we 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 yeah. went home, we went back to the dorms and went to sleep. We didn't even make it in there. <laughs> what what y'all drinking? Some rock. Some rock. Oh, I only say rock. I'm gonna say if you say drink that rock, dog. Nah. It, it's this is one joke. This is one joke called rock. R O K K. Don't nobody know about this. Don't nobody. Every time we mention that, bro, he's like, what? What? Like nigga, rock is is, is a glass bottle of vodka and it's, it's R O K K, bro. And that junk, if you ever had, have you ever had um, New Amsterdam? Uh, yeah, I had New Amsterdam. Okay, it's got, <laughs> that junk, dog, it's going to make you do some things that you didn't think you could do, dog. It's terrible, dog. No, like, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't had that. So um, you, you said you, you was on your ass on Ciroc, huh? Yeah, but I was like, I'm talking about we was on our way, yeah. you know, headed to the state, and I'm trying to get right before yeah, I put yeah. my clothes on. Man, I had too many. I mixed it. I mixed it with too much lemonade. Man, yeah. I was a rookie. At so the you time. just yeah, 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 yeah. You know what sure. I'm saying? But that was that was one of the times where I was. Just going crazy. Yeah, we was in a room like just me and her, and she, she throwing up nothing. <laughs> No, you know that's the worst thing when you throwing it but none come out, you just in that mother. Yeah. Like you want to spit like us. Uh, so. Yeah, we in the door, we in the dorms dead. Like we dead. Like <laughs> dog, dog. You now have you ever had an after time that you remember like like dog, I'm fucked up, but you just you you in the motion though. Like you you in the you cause like I said, it's been times that I was so drunk, bro, only thing I saw was heels and shoes, cause I couldn't look up. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, we could talk about them all. Oh, yeah. Hold on, hold on. And, and you, and you, so you had, you had a lady like your first year in college? Yeah. Oh, that's what's up, man. Yeah. Like, like uh, did, did it last a, a long period of time or like? Yeah, I had a, I had a child bar. So okay, So we was okay. together, mo you know, all, all my all my college Okay, career. okay. How's your daughter, yeah. man? She's seven. Be, She'll be seven. seven in November. Okay, okay. November did 19th. That, how, uh, did that change you as far as like a person like having a kid, man? Because you was, you was kind of young, right? Yeah, I was kind of young. Yeah, you know, it definitely teach you a lot, man. It taught me a lot about just love and unconditional love. For sure, for sure. Because yeah. you never know until, like, you, you love people, but when you get a kid, bro, it's like, damn, yeah. like. This is your responsibility. Like you gotta, you know, you you would die for this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah it taught yeah. me love, unconditional love, on a whole nother level. For sure, man. For sure, man. Yeah. Shoot, man. I appreciate you coming on this. For sure, man. I appreciate y'all. Yeah. Like I said, once you drop that EP, man, yeah, come back to you, bro, you. dog. <laughs> Where can they follow you on social media, dog? Uh, gorgeous Dion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell, tell them why you why you why you why you put that as a name, dog. You told us. Uh, the word G. Yeah. You know, even with it being, you know, God. Mm -hmm. Um, and just everybody, just you know. I call everybody gorgeous gods, you know, yeah. goddesses. I know a lot of people don't like to say that, you know, they're a god or, they're, you know, they're a little god. But, sure. 
that's just the way you know I operate with love. Mm -hmm. You know, God, you know, God is is love first. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure, man. And you want to leave people with some with some motivational words, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't drink uh -huh. and drive. You know stuff like that. <laughs> It's a motivation or something. Yeah, I would just say, you know, lead, you know, lead with love. Oh yeah, for sure. Lead yeah, with love. Easy, easy and simple, man. Easy. Shoot, man. I know, I know, man. You gonna be hooping this, this, uh, this, this winter, man. Yeah. Can't wait to watch you out there, dog. You know, yeah. what I'm saying with them tickets and stuff, I'll be out there rooting the jump. For sure, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, just keep on, just keep pushing, bro. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Whatever it is, just keep doing it, dog. For sure. Oh yeah, appreciate yeah. you. Appreciate y'all. Yeah. Shout out to everybody, dog. For sure.